Hey everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be opening up Topps' subscription box. This is Topps Future Stars Club September subscription box. Okay, so if you are not familiar with Topps Future Stars Club su subscription box for $24.99 a month, Topps sends you a value box and an exclusive set and another gift. Um, it is generally geared towards a younger audience, towards young collectors. Um, however, um, there's a lot of appeal for this just in the fact that you get a value box alone um, and it's the exclusive sets that come inside these that a lot of the other older more adult collectors are after in this so for september let's see what we get and let's see if we can pull any fun cards and or any big cards out of the September subscription box. Now, Tops was really late in sending September. I received this, I believe it was on October 14th. And it was, so it was two weeks late, which has kind of been Tops' MO. Um, however, better late than never. So let's see what we get. We do get a blaster box of Topps Stadium Club 2020. Love Stadium Club. One of my favorite sets of the year. So that's nice that we get that out of there. And then we have the exclusive set in the free gift. That's not really free. You pay for it. But the surprise gift. Um, so let's see what we get. We get a Topps Future Stars Club headband. I could wear this at my kid's baseball game or just let my kid wear it. But so we get a nice headband. This is actually pretty decent quality, a refreshing cooling headband with a Bryce Harper signature. And it also says Tops Future Stars Club. So remember, this goes for $25. So you get this, which would cost you 20 bucks in the store. Um, you get the headband um, and then you get the five card exclusive set. So we'll dig into this last. Why don't we dig into the Stadium Club box first and see what we can pull out of there and see if there's any fun stuff that we can get out of a blaster of top Stadium Club. Now, Stadium Club uh, just got released. It was a bad, it's been a few weeks now, um, but it is possible to pull autos out of here. You do get the wide vision box topper, which a lot of people really seem to like this year and of course you can get parallels just like every other year in stadium club but stadium club is driven off photography which is why i like it um, some of the most fun images that you will find on a baseball card anywhere some of them are truly breathtaking that is what you're getting when you buy into stadium club and of course i'm having problems opening this pack so Bear with me here for a second while I struggle to open up a pack. So here's who we are going to get out of pack one. Randall Gerchik. Luis Severino. Bob Feller. And a backwards card Stan Musial. It is going to be a red Stan Musial like that card. And give that a quick sleeve. And an Ozzie Smith. Beautiful Ozzie Smith there. Diving in to, I'm going to say second base, could be third. Um, so that is pack one. So we get the red stand usual. And we get an Emperors of the Zone, Noah Syndergaard. Now you can get parallels in those two, which are pretty awesome. And then we have a backwards Noah Syndergaard. Oh, wait, well, that's because I'm on the wrong side. Um, I was going to say all these are backwards. So we get a Vladimir Guerrero Jr., an iconic looking card there. Brian Anderson, a Don Mattingly, and of course the Noah Syndergaard there. So our next pack. Now, if you get a numbered one, I think numbered starts with blue and is numbered to 50. So kind of hard to get a numbered card out of Top Stadium Club. Salvi Perez, 
Simeon, Anthony Rizzo. They also have short print variations, and we have a backwards Brendan McKay, and it will be an Emperors of the Zone rookie card as well. So a nice one there. And a Xander Bogarts. What a beautiful Bogarts card that is as well. So again, like I said, with the photography, that's really what you're going after um, for in Stadium Club. The Luis Robert card, and this is a fantastic looking card. So hopefully we can pull one like that. Jack Flaherty, uh, Steven Strasburg, and I didn't even mention this, but you can get Stadium Club Chrome cards. So there are Chrome parallels as well. That is a Shohei Otani is an Angels fan. Love to see that one. This is the base chrome, so it is not numbered. You can get some of these that are numbered to like orange to 99, but a beautiful Shohei there, numbered to, well, not numbered, but uh, Stadium Club Chrome. And then we have the insert, the bash and burn insert, and this is a nice one. It is a Gavin Lux rookie card, bash and burn. So a nice Gavin Lux rookie card there. So this is turning into be a pretty nice box. And we have Noma Mazzara in that pack. So I think we've got four more packs to go. And I just had more trouble. I don't know why these aren't opening the way they should. But we'll make it work. They're foil packs. They're not that difficult. They're not like Panini packs, which are like breaking into Fort Knox. That's for sure. Okay, so here we go. We've got Hall of Famer Jeff Bagwell. AJ Puck rookie card. And that's the fun part about these. Th this would be such a short print image variation in any other set. And the AJ Puck for this, just the base. But boy, does that look like a short print. So there's a nice AJ Puck there. We've got Wilson Contreras and another Emperor of the Zone, Jacob deGrom and James Marvel rookie card as well so another insert another rookie card we'll put over there let's see what we can grab out of the next pack next pack is going to be matt chapman clayton kershaw Hitchin and chavez ravine eloy jimenez and a backwards jordan yamamoto and that is going to be a sepia parallel which is exclusive to the retail format you can only get sepia in retail jordan yamamoto rookie card so a nice one there again hard to find a numbered card in in stadium club but the sepia are very nice ones to get and we also get a shun yamaguchi rookie card for the blue jays next pack and again it opens up odd. It's not tearing down the line like it should, but we will work with it nonetheless. Sort of. It's kind of irritating. <laughs> However, let's see what we get here. Okay, we've got Kevin Biggio. And we might have, I think we have a redemption. Holy smokes. A Dakota Hudson, and it is most definitely, oh my lord, it is a redemption of Bash and Burn Orange Parallel for Gavin Lux. So this will be a redemption card. I believe the Orange Bash and Burn is going to be numbered to 99. I will have to check. I do not have it in front of me, but that is a Gavin Lux Rookie card, Bash and Burn, insert. We saw one of those earlier. In fact, it's going to be, in fact, I think it was a Gavin Lux. So let's take a look here. That is a huge, huge pull. So it will be this card in an orange parallel. And it will be autographed. So it'll be this card autographed. That is an awesome pull out of a 20 for $25 subscription box. So a huge, huge pull there. Pretty stoked on that one 
for sure. And we're not even done with that pack. So there is the Bash and Burn Orange Autograph Redemption. And it's Gavin Lux. Plus, we have a Ty Cobb Red. Love that one. So this has turned into a monster blaster box. And a Ty Cobb red. So just a beautiful one. And we have the machine, Albert Pulhos, and one more pack to go. So let's see what we can get out of here. Adrian Morgan, Carlos Santana. And a Jordan Alvarez rookie card. So an Alvarez comes out as well. So two Gavin Luxes. This was a monster, monster blaster box. The blaster boxes, by the way, of Stadium Club this year, most of them have been absolute fire. We also have a backwards Jason Veritek red. So a red parallel for Jason Veritek. One of the very cool images in top Stadium Club this year. Just a fantastic photograph there showing Veritek framing up some pitches. And then we have Hunter Dozier, our wide vision box topper, which some of these can be autoed, is going to be Mr. Ronald Acuna Jr. So a very nice box topper as well. With the wide vision, I do not have this one. That is a fantastic one as well. So, one more thing that we get out of the Tops Future Stars Club subscription box. We get a five-card exclusive set that is only available to people that are in the subscription. Um, they are normally themed, so I do not know what this year's theme is. I do know one thing. This does not want to open very nicely for me. However, let's see what this year's theme is. The September 2020 set says this set features five current MLB stars frozen in time thanks to wonderful sports photography. So they went with a theme this month with wonderful sports, sports photography. So Stadium Club, um, the history of baseball is brought to life thanks to photography and these trading cards Help play a small part of that. The Tops Future Stars Club is a monthly membership that delivers fun and exclusive content straight to your door. So let's see. They went kind of with a 92 Top Stadium Club design here. So they went with, uh, but with the Tops Future Stars Club logo, which is kind of cool, kind of a throwback looking design here. So we get Bryce Harper. Oh, and look at this. How about a Luis Robert rookie card? Beautiful one there as well. And you get a Frankie Lindor, which is obviously a 2020 wearing a little bit of the mask. So you get Frankie Lindor and Mr. Mike Trout. So beautiful Trout there. And the last card is going to be Jacob DeGrom for the September set of Tops Future Stars. So a very nice month in the Tops Future Stars for me, especially being that we got the Gavin Lux Bash and Burn Orange Parallel, the Ronald Acuna Jr., a very nice Luis Robert rookie card in an exclusive set for the Tops Future Stars Club. So you guys, throw over to first. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we do openings like this. We do breaks. I do set reviews. All sorts of different things surrounding the baseball card collecting hobby. And comment below. Let me know what you think about the subscription cl uh, club. The Tops Future Stars Subscription Club. There are always... Um, it's full right now, but I think it does open up from time to time, month to month as people drop out. So if you can get yourself into the club, I highly recommend it for $25, a very fun thing to open. Doesn't cost you too much money. It shows up at your door, even if it is a little bit late, but it shows up um, and you've got a decent chance at pulling some fun cards like a redemption. And if nothing else, you get a blaster for tw uh, 25 bucks plus the five card set, which is exclusive to the subscription club. Um, 
and some fun gifts for your kids while you're at it. So you guys, as always, I hope you have great luck on your personal pack pulls. Be good to your family. Be good to your friends. Be good to your neighbors. And until next time, take care.